<clears throat> hey guys, it's Sunday. Um, the reason I haven't made anything or whatever is because I'm at this wedding camp thing. Now, my cousin was getting married to somebody, and there's people watching me, and we got married at this really nice camp. I'll show it to you more in a bit before people... Yeah, hold on. Be right back. Okay, so what the deal is, is my uncle kind of helped build this place from the ground up. And it's a very nice um, camp. It's usually used for kids, you know, they come here for like a month or two or whatever and just, you know, it's a youth camp, yeah. And so this is where the wedding was and I'll probably throw in the typical wedding stuff and maybe other stuff at the end of this. And here comes more people. I'm scared. Before we begin, <laughs> does anybody have an objection to this wedding? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put on my sunglasses. You got a problem with this wedding? <laughs> if not, shut up. We're going to go on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That was the ad lib part. It's just not going to be serious the whole time. <laughs> but I would like for us to, in this next moment here, we're going to have four readings from four parents. And the first one will be from Camilla, Arsha's mother. And she's going to sing a Sanskrit prayer. Before I commence this prayer, I would like to give you the gist of what it conveys. The Supreme Lord, the universal soul, is complete, fulfilled. These two individual souls on the wedding day are complete. Since this wedding is created from the Lord, they are fulfilled and the Supreme Lord is also fulfilled complete. Mm. Peace, peace, peace. Why is it that every time I see you, my eyes want to linger in yours? They always have, and always pull my lips up into a smile. You once said to me that love is freedom. At first, the most cynical part of me rejected this statement. How could love, which ultimately implies commitment, be freedom? With the deepest and oldest, 
and ultimately most idealistic part of me, the fire baby, leapt at that phrase. It is true, my soul said. Love is freedom. It is only sadness and weariness that makes us doubt it. Love like freedom is about choosing. Choosing to accept somebody wholly and without reservation. Choosing to find the most loving path out of conflict. Knowing that we choose to stay and to hold and to talk and work with one another to find happiness together again. Love is knowing that you have also freely chosen to love me and feeling like the luckiest person in the whole world because of that fact. And so, love, I choose you freely and our life together. I vow to be kind to you, our future children, the world, and myself. I vow to provide for us and work to enable our family to choose professions that we love and give us meaning. I vow fidelity to you. I vow to love you in sickness and health, in glorious parties and horrible loss, <laughs> in times where we shall struggle financially, and times when we are rich as well as famous. <laughs> <laughs> I vow to temper any desire for revenge with love and communication. I vow to do everything I can to make our lives happy and full of freedom. And I vow to love and care for you from this moment until our last. <laughs> Time swirls past me in steps of twos and threes. For every breath, for every moment in this world I see. Today, I stop the carousal of time to recognize that you are mine. My world, my smile. With you, the world is mine. The stars in every drop of pure sunshine. And in that rain, and in that which even the angels would decline, I am there for you, my truest love, till death. Till time itself is a nursery rhyme to our children, to their little feet, stomping through to theirs, yours, and mine. When you and I meet, the stars, the gods, are all once more made sublime. To you, my heart, to you, my all. To you, this world enter. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, do you love and trust Archna and want to be her husband? I do. <laughs> he didn't say it. <laughs> I think Don the storm. Will you stand by her no matter what life brings, respecting her as a person, honoring her as a partner, and enjoying her love until death parts you? I will. Archana, do you love and trust Sean and want to be his wife? Will you stand by him no matter what life brings, respecting him as a person, honoring him as your partner, and enjoying his love until death parts you? I do. <laughs> Sean, please repeat after me. I, Sean, take you, Archna. I, Sean, take you, Archna. To be my husband? Uh, to be my wife? <laughs> 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 oh, my God. <laughs> And in the power invested in me only for one day <laughs> by the state of California and with the majestic blessings of our Lord, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the groom. <laughs> <laughs>